25 Minute Manners Makeover Queen for Dogs and the inventor of the humane dog walking and training system called Walk and Sing. And if you haven't had a chance yet, I really encourage you, go check out walkandsync.com. You're going to find some really great tools on there. In my last video, I told you I was going to give you three easy tips today on how to do less and receive more. I mean, seriously, how nice is that? Work smarter, not harder? You see, when I was training my chocolate lab Barney, the tools that we were using, unfortunately, really didn't help us communicate so well. And so I found myself having to do a lot of stuff and it was throwing me off balance as a leader and then, you know, my dog's not listening and we're not getting any results. So it really was kind of a whole kibosh of mismatched energies and mismatched communication. So as I in invented the walk and sync system, what happened was I realized I wanted to give a couple of things that really were going to be so valuable to people like me who had such a hard time with their dog. The first tip for today is proper training tools are absolutely essential in being able to communicate properly with your dog in a way that both of you understand each other. You see, communicating isn't just like a one-way street where you tell the dog what to do and they just get it. The dog actually has to have proper signaling so that they understand, oh, that's what you're talking about. That's what you want. So if you think about a lot of the tools that are on the market today, if you had something around your neck that was choking you or sticking into your neck or on your nose, would you be able to actually think as clearly as you possibly could? The walk and sing tools that I designed actually help the dog to hear you in a clear way without having anything around their throat. So they're able to receive the information that you're sending them without any mixed up communication skills. The second tip is, when you're choosing your training tools, you gotta choose tools that are actually helping you create clear, consistent boundaries with your dog because your dog understands energy. Every time you let your dog walk and then you yank it back and you let him walk and you yank him back, not only are you disturbing his neck, but there's no clarity of where the dog actually needs to be because he thinks, oh, I have a lot of room, now I don't. Oh, I have a lot of room, now I don't. So the walk and sink tools are actually going to help you guys establish that consistency with such ease. Tip number three is, as a leader, you must have tools in your hands that make you feel comfortable and safe and that allow you to stay calm and relaxed so that you can work with your dog from a calm, relaxed manner. Because as a leader, if you're not calm and relaxed and if you're kind of frazzled and all over the place and you've got a flexi lead or you've got you know a leash that keeps coming in and out, it doesn't send the proper communication tool to your dog for him or her to feel that you're calm and effective. So the walk and sink leash, what we did was we put these great handles on it that helps you maintain a sense of calm and ease, gives your dog a really clear boundary, and are also the essential harness tool that you need on your dog to help them really understand what you're asking them for. So the three tips for today are proper tools are essential. Tools that help you create clear boundaries with your dog and tools that also help you be a calm, clear leader of what's going to help you most in being able to do less and receive more. Hope you enjoyed these tips. In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can use touch to get the most out of your training with your dog. And also too, if you haven't done so yet, I've got a great home study course for you. So check out the link below and learn about the six secrets that your dog wants to teach you to unleash the greatness in you.